Praise the Lord. Mungu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Mungu asifiwe. Pray what? Praise the Lord. Come on Kenya, you can do better than that. Kenya mwaweza fanya zaidi ya hiyo. Actually you are not only Kenya. Na sio Kenya tu. But the whole world is here. Lakini ulimwengu wote uko hapa. Why don't we clap our hands to Jesus Kwa Christ of Nazareth? Kwa nini Yesu makofi? I bring you greetings from Uganda. Na waletea salamu kutoka Uganda. My wife, mke wangu, my daughter is here. Binti yangu yuko hapa. Hi excellency the first lady. Mama wa kwanza wa taifa la Kenya. Thank you so much. Asante sana. We are here because of your efforts. Tuko hapa kwa sababu ya bidii yako. Because you hear from God. Ni kwa maana unamsikia Mungu. Come on somebody clap your hands for Hebu, tumpi, the first lady. Tumpigie mama wa taifa makofi. I have few minutes Nina dakika chache to share with you some principles that I believe will help us today. Kushiriki nanyi kanuni kadhaa ambazo naamini zitatusaidia leo. When I was looking at the theme of this meeting nilipokuwa nikitazama kichwa cha mkutano huu is called healing of a nation. Inaitwa uponyaji wa taifa. Now those of you who are visiting us today we welcome our friends from China. Wale mnatuk uh, Madam First Lady, I was remember when I was in Israel. Mama wa taifa nakumbuka nilipokuwa Israeli. And you summoned me to accompany you to go pa see Pastor Benny. Na ukaniita ni pamoja nawe tukamuone mchungaji Benny. I was ministering to them. Nilikuwa na wahudumia wale. In Israel. Kule Israeli. So I left them in the hands of my wife. Hivyo niliwaacha mikononi mwa mke wangu. And I came and met you in Orlando. Na nikaja nikakutana nawe kule Orlando. And now that God has done it Pastor Benny Hinn is here. Na hivyo Bwana amefanya mchungaji Benny Hinn yuko hapa. People of Kenya you must be grateful you have a first lady like no other. Ma, watu wa Kenya mnastahili mshukuru Mungu. Mna mama wa taifa asiye na wakulinganishwa naye. And God is going to bless Kenya. Na Mungu atabariki Kenya. I say God is going to bless your life. Nasema Mungu atabariki maisha yenu. In the book of Joel chapter 2, katika kitabu cha Yoweli mlango wa 25 and 26, wa 25, He said and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. Miaka ambayo inge walikula. The cankerworm. Wale winge. The, the caterpillar. Wale viwafu. And the palmer worm. Na wale my great army which I sent among you. He said I will restore you. To restore means to put back even better than it used to be. Something great is happening in Kenya. God is putting it back better than ever before. Now, why is God talking about restoring you? First he said I will restore you. In Joel chapter 2 then I will fill you with the Holy Spirit. The perfect example of restoration is Gideon and our Lord Jesus Christ. Gideon and our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I use many interpreters. If they don't do well, I slap them and I bring another one. So the perfect example is Gideon and Jesus Christ. Before chapter 6 of, of Judges, Israel was very rich. Israel was very rich. It was very prosperous. Spiritually, Kiroho, industrious, kwa, uh, militarily tafiti. formidable. Kwa raslimani na kwa kila hali. Then they did evil in the sight of the Lord. Hivyo wakafanya uovu mbele za mungu. And the Lord sent them Midianites. Na mungu wakawatumia wa Midiani. Today the whole world is in trouble. Leo ulimwengu wote uko kwa shida. Because of Midianites. Kwa sababu ya wa Midiani. For me they sound like middlemen. Kwa, kwa ngu inaonekana kama watu wakatikati. 
Then they begin to become poor. Na hivyo wakaanza kufilisika. Because middle men have really wrecked the economy of the world. Kwa sababu watu hawa wakatikati wa midiani wameharibu uchumi wa ulimwengu. I remember if I can recall better. Nakumbuka kama nakumbuka pasavyo. That after the East African revival. Kwamba baada ya ufufio wa Afrika Mashariki. That was in Uganda. Ulio kutokea kule Uganda. Kenya took the baton. Kenya ilichukua baton. I remember my spiritual father Dr. T. L. Osborne told me. Nakumbuka baba yangu wa Kiroho T. L. Osborne aliniambia. Here you used to have an ex president the late mulikuwa na rais aliye pumzika whom was nicknamed Nyayo. Aliye itwa Nyayo. And Nyayo used to invite preachers here. Na Nyayo alikuwa anakaribisha wahubiri hapa. You remember T.L. Osborne, Morris Seruro, Reinhard Bonke, from Mombasa to Eldoret. From Mombasa to Eldoret. There was a great move of God over Kenya. But somehow, somewhere, things did not go well. And I'm hearing the Lord say, I'm ready to restore you. I'm ready to restore Kenya. Niko tayari kuregesha Kenya more than ever before. Zaidi kuliko pale awali. So Israel at the time Iswani basi kipindi kile was suffering hunger. Wateseka na njao maskini. Uchawi People were being reduced to stupidity. But the Bible says when they cried out to the Lord, a national altar, Israel had a national altar, they became one, not just united, and thank God for Mama Ruto for the national altar. Kenya is about to recover faster than ever before. As they cried on the national altar, God began the restoration process. The Bible says he sent them a prophet and, and an angel. Prophets are very good in analyzing things. But angels deliver solutions. Africa has been given so many options. Kenya you've been given so many options. We don't need any more options. We need a solution. And this meeting in Nyayo Stadium has brought you solution. When the anointing hit this place, you and your family and your children you will never be the same again. Because God uses the anointing to break and destroy yokes. Kenya, Kenya, these are your days of restoration. Kenya. The Bible said, whatever you used to have, and many of us here today, we are like the Israelis in the days of Gideon. And you can be a witness. You feel it in your heart. Many years before, there used to be greatness in your family. There used to be leadership in your family. There used to be academia in your family. And now you find things are not working. Can I have a witness that you look back and say maybe my grandfather was very well known. Maybe we are godly. Maybe we had a house where we kids were going to school and it's no longer the same. Can I have a witness? Well, these two days the Lord is going to restore you. Restoration is very powerful because even our Lord Jesus Christ in John 17 he said restore unto me the glory I had with you before the world was made. Everything that has been re reduced from you, the Lord is about to give it to you back. So this is what he does. 
Because God is a God of multiplication. Mungu ni mungu wa and you cannot multiply zero by a billion and get a billion. Na na Our God is a master of, of mathematics. Mungu wetu ndiye mkubwa maesabu. That's why in Joel chapter 2. Before he power his spirit. Kabla upon all flesh. Kwa yote, as it's going to happen here. Hivyo hapa, and across Kenya and Africa. Na Kenya mzima na and Africa, around the world. Na he will fast restore you. Kwanza then he will fill you. Then he will multiply you. And the list is going to multiply you. Na it's a thousand times. Mia elfu. I said a thousand times. Na mara elfu. Is there anybody here want to be multiplied a thousand times? Mara elfu? I can't hear you. Siku siki. I can't hear you. Na siku siki. Do you want a thousand times multiplication? Well, God can't multiply zero by a trillion and get your trillion. In Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11, this is what he said. May the Lord multiply you. You and you and you and you. A thousand times. Oh, may God bless you a thousand times. You and your business. You and your family. Women are family. I speak to Kenya. May the Lord multiply the church of Jesus Christ a thousand times. That's why he will bring an anointing like Pastor Benny. Because it's the anointing that breaks and destroys your So that's what God did for them. But listen in Isaiah chapter 61 as I'm finishing. Isaiah says The spirit of the Lord God is upon me Because he's anointed me To preach the good news to the poor To heal the broken hearted To comfort those who mourn In Zion The hour has come Kenya church hear me No more mourning in you God is about to create Yet billionaires in the body of Christ they never before. And this is going to happen beginning with you. You know God is amazing. He went to Gideon. Because Gideon had a covenant. He was the one with only wheat. And the wine press. Our Lord Jesus Christ took the bread and the wine. And he said this is a new covenant covenant. Yes, Gideon's father was a witch. But Gideon had a covenant. And because he had that covenant, God sent him a prophet. Kenya, you have a covenant. Church, you have a covenant. Pastors, you have a covenant. And God is sending you the anointing. First, it was a prophet. And the Prophet said, because prophets are analysis. And they run an analysis. They say you did this and this and this and this. But they leave you hanging. Then immediately, he sent an angel. And when he sent the angel, the angel said to Gideon, the Lord God is with you. The Lord God is with you. You might a man of fact. Raise your hand. Say, God is with me. God is with me. Now the hour has come in Kenya. Kenya. Whereby God is going to use a national altar. And the moment has come in Africa. Now we are no longer going to operate with options. But God is going to give us solutions. And this is how God works. With Gideon. Gideon brought 30,000 men. And God said thank you. But I need three. I need 300 determined quality people he said masses are great but there has to be some 
few people there has to be some 300 who are determined for the national altar to seek the Lord so that when God wants to do something in Kenya he doesn't have to man is no longer an option man cannot be a problem when he wants to do something time cannot be an issue therefore in the name of Jesus I believe there is more than 300 people here I believe there are more than 300 people here that of the Gideonites who say Lord we are ready we are ready for our nation in Jesus name God is going to restore you a thousand Sometimes. Raise your hand, everybody. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I am one of those who are standing with the national altar, believing God for great results in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he brought the 300, that's what was his offering. It was Gideon alone, but the sacrifice was 300. Then heaven opened. Heaven opened. Whenever we give to God that which he wants, he will open the heaven for us. He will open the heaven for us. Are you ready for the heaven to open for you? We have ushers ready to go through us. We will sit down and we are going to give. We are going to give to the Lord. But I believe with all my heart that the only way to break the back of poverty and destroyed our destiny is us to respond more than ever before. There are some business people here you don't have your business anymore there are people here you no longer having your niche that you used to have your family used to be great it's no longer great the Midianites have stepped in but I want to pray for you that Jehovah will restore you today so everybody get a hold of an offering in your hand everybody lift your offering even you brothers from China everybody from Uganda Uganda. This is a unique day. Everybody get a hold of your offering. In your hand. Lift it up. And say, Father, say my Father, this is my offering. This is my offering. Restore me. Restore me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now listen to this. Give the Lord that which you want him to multiply a thousand. Because this is the word of the Lord. Every time we offer to the Lord, we offer him that which he will multiply. A little boy brought five loaves of bread and fishes. And God fed over five thousand people. He brought five and he brought over 5,000. May the Lord do miracles with your seed today. May the Lord restore whatever the cankerworms have eaten. In the mighty name of Jesus. But also, yes, Gideon brought the 30,000. But then there were those special people. Those special 300. And this is what he said. As bishops. This is what he said. Those who drink water like dogs. He said, yes, there are others. But there are always those who drink water like dogs. And I believe in this stadium, there are those bishops, 
pastors, Wachungaji. businessmen, Mafanyi who are ready to drink water like dogs. Wange peno wanya maji kama jibwa. You are tired of seeing poverty in the church. Umechoka kuono maskini kanisani. In kanisani. your family, kwa familia, in your home, nyumbani. And you are ready to say, na ukutari kusema, I am going to drink water like a dog. Nita kunywa maji kama mbwa. I'm going to sow a seed. Nita panda begu. Of a thousand dollars. Ya dola elfu moja. And you said, I'm sowing it in the national altar. Unasema na ipanda kwa madha bao ya kitaifa. Oh, a hundred thousand. I don't know a hundred thousand Kenya shillings. I don't know what it is. Ama laki moja ya Kenya. One forty-five thousand. One forty-five thousand. Mm. Those ones. Those ones. Wow, what when I hear? You may not even have your seed with you. But you bring it tomorrow. I want you to come and get an envelope. I want you to come and get an envelope. That the Lord will bless you. Kenya must be evangelized. Africa must be touched. So those people stand up on your feet. And come come over here quickly in the name of Jesus for the Lord will do something incredible the Lord will do something incredible now when you see a Kenyan moving I mean a, 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 a Chinese moving in, you have to move fast because this is our time this is our moment and this is our hour and Kenya thank you so much May the Lord do wonders with us. May the Lord do incredible things with us. So I'm going to wait for you. I have five minutes. May the Lord do great things. And those of you who come to Uganda, step in. Because there has to be. I see people from London has also come. Let the Lord do something to you today. Because his word is real. His word is real. His word is real. What hinders the church is poverty in Africa. But today the world is ready to move to another level. So those of you ushers who are opening there, please open for the people. I just have a few minutes with this people. And as ashes are collecting the offering, yes, everybody's seed matters. But you know where you want to go. You know where you need to move your ministry. And I know many of you have already given. Thank you so much. There is a number on the screen. I hope the screen will be stable. And you can give electronically. If you are coming, please lift up your hands so that I can see you. Because I want to pray for these people. Brothers and sisters, Many times the Lord has challenged me personally. I will never forget the day we hosted Pastor Benny at our church. It wasn't easy. But after he left, he prophesied that we will see a revival. We are still in revival. He prophesied a TV station. Channel 40 is the Christian leading station in the country. We are now seen in three quarters of the world. He prophesied a revival. We are still in 77 days of glory. We are, we are, we are the leading farmers in Uganda. Let me tell you, when the anointing hits your place, you will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. The 
Senegal you are mostly privileged that you are here today and the man of God is here today I can attest to it miracles are going to happen lives are going to be saved joy is coming to you Pastor Suna please you have those envelopes thank you heavenly father in Jesus name give each of those people the envelope if you have your seed you can give it today if you don't have it you'll bring it tomorrow in the name of Jesus father I pray that you will multiply this your people a thousand times because you are faithful God bless their ministry bless their churches Blesses, bless their families bless their work according to your word in Jesus name now when you get your seed bring it tomorrow there will be an opportunity like this to give offering then come boldly they will call you we will call you come boldly and you give your offering and the Lord will do great and mighty things if you have it today they are bring a basket here and you be able to give it and to all my brothers and sisters wherever you are walk where the box is where, where the offering is and plant your city may the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob bless you a thousand times in Jesus name now those of you have got your seed you may remain those of you bringing it tomorrow you can go and see and those of you who are here the basket is coming in Jesus my name thank you Lord thank you Jesus you are awesome Lord you are mighty Lord thank you Lord for this day may you restore everything the canker worm has eaten may you restore our hope thank you for your servant Pastor Benny we will never be the same again in Jesus name Somebody said this was, I will never be the same again. <laughs> this is just coming to bless you. And may the Lord bless you more and more. More and more. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.